Hey everyone, this is Alicia and welcome back to my channel. Today we are filming part five of my eyeshadow palette collection and declutter series. So we're just going to jump right on in. So just quickly want to talk about this palette. This one I mentioned in my previous video and I decided that I was going to keep the palette. I'm such a dipsy doodle because as I was editing the previous video, I realized that this one has the exact same color story as the other palettes that I decided to get rid of. Um, I don't know why they chose to use the same colors over and over again rather than just using colors that were in the palette itself. Like for instance, this is clearly a purple palette. It has some pinks, it has a turquoise, it has a nice lilac. I don't know why they didn't put the colors of the palette as colors in the eyeshadow part itself, if that makes any sense. So since I got rid of the other ones because I wasn't interested in the color story, it really makes no sense to keep this one. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this one. Next is my Cara Beauty, what is this? The Mind Trap palette, yeah. This is what she looks like. Totally colorful palette, rainbow palette. Have your pastels, your bright pops of colors. This is so pretty and the funny thing is I am more interested in gravitating towards this one more than the Morphe 35B that I gave away a couple of videos, away, um, a couple of videos ago. So with that being said, I'm going to keep this. This color story is totally me. I love rainbow palettes. I love colorful palettes. So with that being said, I'm definitely going to keep this one. Next is the Cara Beauty. This is the Time Traveler palette. Yeah, the Time Traveler palette. Oh, I apologize for blinding you all. This is what she looks like. Very pretty color story. I think overall, this is a really beautiful palette. But for some reason, when I seen the video, I thought these were much deeper greens than what they are. Although they are very pretty, and I'm not trying to take anything from it, it's just I was more drawn to the palette when I saw the pictures as opposed to getting it in front of me. These mauve shades are really, really pretty. I like this salmon and this peach color tone. This deep green is the only deep green in there, but I also like this one next to it. It's like a, um, a cool tone, mossy green. And the palette overall is really, really pretty. It's just not what I thought it was gonna be based on the pictures. And I really hate when that happens because you tend to be really excited for a palette just based on the pictures and the swatches. The, the swatches looked really, really good too. It's just now that it's in front of me, I don't feel inspired by it. I have these tones and I just really wanted a green based palette but that had more deeper greens, if that makes any sense. Because I have a lot of palettes that have like pastel greens, light greens and stuff like that. I just wanted like deep green grungy tones. So with that being said, unfortunately, I'm going to get rid of this beautiful palette. Next up, we have the Cara Beauty Purple Haze eyeshadow palette. This is what the inside of it looks like. Really, really pretty color story. I love purple eyeshadows. I love the yellow in here it looks really pretty. It has... I think two pressed glitters and then this is like a duochrome shade that's really pretty and then this one too so I'm gonna swatch them both this is indica and this is trap and they look like two duochrome shades yeah very very pretty hopefully my camera is picking up the shift on them yeah so this is what the palette looks like very pretty I haven't gotten a chance to play around with it I do plan on keeping it because I just really like the tones of this palette. So yeah, I'm going to keep her. This is the Cara Beauty Girl Scout palette. This is what the inside looks like. Very, very pretty. I love the blues and the greens. Yeah, this is, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Like these shades are just gorgeous right here. These greens are nice. I love that it's clearly a... Uh, a color theory palette, if I would say. The fact that it's easier to make looks with these colors because you know they all go together rather than trying to figure out, oh, this blends into that, that blends into that. I like how this palette makes it so much easier. Um, these shades right here, these are just calling my name. Let me swatch this. This is Blaze. Oh, that one didn't swatch as well as I thought it would. Okay, but it does build up. Very, very pretty shade. Um, this is a press glitter. Yeah, is this? Yeah, ugh. Y'all know how I feel about press glitters, but she's pretty. Mm. Ugh, I don't really care for the press glitter. See, that's why I said press glitters. 
I don't care for them because they really are hit or miss. Some are better than others. This is how it looks on my finger. Clearly, I would need to use a um, silicone packing brush or a glitter primer to get this to really shine because on my finger, it looks really pretty and I do like the color. But um, overall, this color story is totally me. I like it. I'm going to hold on to her. Next is the Cara Beauty Orange Pop Eyeshadow Palette. This is what the inside of her looks like. Very pretty color story. I love the red and orange tones. I love, I love burnt oranges. I love that brick red, that deep brown. This gold is really, really pretty. I don't know if, yeah, you can see the reflects. Look at that. Light it and rolling up. These shades are really, really pretty. Unfortunately, I do have these shades in other palettes. Um, I know I'm not going to reach for this, which is unfortunate because she is very pretty. She is the most, I guess, neutral base one compared to the other two, which is part of the um like the High Times collection. I think that's what it was called. But um, yeah, I'm going to get rid of her, although she is very pretty. I'm not even going to dip my fingers into it because I already know that I'm, I'm just not going to pick her up. So I'm just going to get rid of her. Next is the Cara Beauty Life of the Fiesta palette. This is what the inside looks like. Oh, do you see how absolutely gorgeous she is? She is just everything and more. I love the quality of this palette. I love the color story of this palette. She is just a total beauty. Uh, although there are three pressed glitters in here, I don't even care because that's how much I love this palette. This is the shade called Go Deep. Very buttery feeling, by the way. Look at that. Look how beautiful she is. And then I'll do Poppin'. They said very buttery shades. Look at that. And then Love Fire. Look at those. Oh, I absolutely adore this palette. I love the quality. I love the blendability. I, I can't say any more good things about this palette. It's just so great. One of my favorites from the year 2020. Just overall such an amazing quality palette. Just... Yeah, I'm, I'm not getting rid of her. She's going to stay with me forever and ever. Next is the Cara Beauty Flower After Hours palette. This is what the inside looks like. This is the more neutral base one, even though it has your little pops of color. Um, this is the more neutral base one compared to the other palettes that came out in this collection. This was, uh, what collection was this? Dang, I can't remember it to save my life. But any fiddles, this is the neutral base palette out of that collection I was released. Another one of my favorites from last year. Just really great color story, great quality blendability. This shade Pick Me, so pretty. This is what she looks like. Look at that. Look at that. She is so beautiful. I love her. Just overall, this palette is just everything. The quality, Cara Beauty does amazing quality shadows for really affordable prices. I can't wait until they're like bigger than what they are so that everybody can hop on the way. But yeah, this is another palette that I love using and I will not be getting rid of her. Next is the Cara Beauty Before the Party eyeshadow palette. This is what the inside of her looks like. Very, very pretty color story. Um, Again, we have that Fiesta shade, which is like that turquoise from the other palette. But um, this one performs better than that one. Let me see if I can get a good swatch so I can show y'all what I'm talking about. You see what I mean? This one performs better than that one. Um, this one, I still would use a silicone packing brush or a glitter primer just because although it's a pressed glitter, they still tend to get all over the, all in the way and they transfer, especially since I have slightly hooded eyes. Yeah, this would transfer. So no matter what, when it comes to pressed glitters or just loose glitters in general, I still would need to use a um a glitter primer. Um, the shade, let me make sure my finger's completely dry so I can swatch it and show you. The shade Q the Confetti, another buttery shade, but look how gorgeous she is. Look, oh my gosh, she is phenomenally beautiful. Like she is such a deep blue like a deep royal blue and I absolutely love this palette as well the shades are just everything the quality 
It's so hard to find a deep blue like that that feels buttery because most of the time when you find one, they feel dry. And I don't care that they feel dry, but the fact that it feels buttery means that you really don't have to dig into your pans that much because when they tend to be buttery, they pick up on your brush a lot quicker and a lot easier. This one, you don't really have to do much. It has very little fallout, not much, but still just the quality of these palettes are amazing. Love these. I don't ever see me getting rid of this palette. So with that being said, obviously I'm keeping her. Next is my Cara Beauty Make a Statement Magazine eyeshadow palette. And this is what the inside looks like. Let me turn it this way so that you can see because she really is like a magazine cover. And let me adjust the camera so that you can see these true colors. This is such a pretty palette. I have not used it yet. It's one of the recent purchases that I got. It has similar color stories from the previous collection, but I reason I bought it is because it only had one pressed glitter for one, which is actually a pretty pressed glitter shade, and also because it had a highlighter and a bronzer. Um, this one, like I said, I just recently got it, so I haven't gotten a chance to use it yet, but she is really pretty. This mojito shade is calling my name. This olive green shade is calling my name. Pool party. Let me just swatch these real quick for you. Feels really buttery. This is mojito. That's nice. This is olive green. Ooh, she's pretty. Yeah, she see, this is like that green, that grungy green I was talking about that I thought it was gonna be in the time traveler palette. So this is yeah, that's that's exactly what I was looking for. Oh, uh, I should have made sure that my arm was completely dry. <laughs> Sorry about that, y'all. Um, my arm wasn't completely dry, so it, it kind of oxidized, but you get the picture on the, um, the color. And I'm also going to do pool party for you. This one feels a little on the dry side. The other two felt buttery. That's a pretty shade as well. Yeah, but this one, hmm. Yeah, it feels dry, but now that I'm swatching into it more, it feels a little bit softer. So let me just go over that again. Really, really pretty color. Um, yeah, I she's a recent, a recent purchase. I can't wait to dip my brush into her and play around with her. I'm really hoping that the bronzer shades work for me because out of all of them, this bronzer shade was the deepest. And I do hope it works. Even if it doesn't, I'll try to repurpose it and use it as a transition shade for eyeshadow like if i'm doing a smoky look and whatever um but yeah so i'm gonna hold on to this next is my cara beauty sweet temptation magazine eyeshadow palette this is what the inside looks like i really love the colors and the the overall design of the magazine palette i did it like that so that um, i didn't blind you sorry but um yeah i really love the aesthetic i love the design of the palettes and stuff like that this palette is really, really pretty. I thought that this bronzer would be much deeper than what it is. Very pretty palette. I have been going back and forth with whether or not I should keep this palette since I actually got it. Um, this shade, Beautiful Iris with Wine, Deep Grape, Orchid, Basic. Those colors are just screaming my name. But realistically, mm, I don't I don't think I'm gonna reach into this, which is unfortunate because she is very pretty. And the colors and the overall design is actually really, really nice. It's just I don't think I'm gonna reach into her. So I'm yeah, I'm not even gonna stick my fingers in her. That sound really sorry so sorry that sounded really uh anyway <laughs> but um i'm not gonna swatch her i'm just yeah i'm just gonna get rid of her because i really don't think i'm gonna reach for her so i'm gonna let this very pretty palette go next is my morphe and jacket hill the vault eyeshadow palettes Y'all have all seen them before, but some, just in case some of you haven't, I'm going to go through each one one by one. This first one is Ring the Alarm. Ooh. This is what the inside looks like. Very pretty color story. I have not used this as much as I want to. I know I have these shades in other palettes. But for some reason, I'm compelled to hold on to her 
to try to create some more looks using her. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give myself six months to use this. If I do not, I'm just gonna automatically declutter her and get rid of her. But um, it's mainly these shades right here, Mugshot, Framed, and Alert, that's making me keep this palette, although I know for a fact that I have these shades. I, I do not doubt it. You have seen these shades over and over again. Literally all of these shades you have seen in my collection in one or more palettes. And I am not negating that. I understand that. But something in me feels like I didn't use this as much as I should have or I could have. So for that reason alone, I'm going to keep it. I have six months to use her. If I do not, I'm getting rid of her. Next is the Bling Boss palette. This is what the inside of her looks like. Very, very pretty color story. Another palette again. I know I have these shades, except for Buried Treasure. This is like a black shimmer with burgundy and olive green reflex. Is my camera picking up? Okay, yeah. Yeah, you can see what I'm talking about. I think, even though this shade is really unique, I think I may have this in one of my Pat McGrath palettes. Um... This is another one I should have used it more than I did, mainly for the shades Mystic, Buried Treasure, Rock Star, Glitz and Glam, and Sparks. This is another one I'm gonna give myself six months to play around with her. If I do not touch her, I'm going to get rid of her. This is the Armed and Dangerous palette. This is what the inside of her looks like. Very, very beautiful color story. This shade top secret is such a beautiful, mossy, olive green just really gorgeous shade again these terracottas this mustard yellow this um reddish brown all these shades i know i have especially coin i know i have coin i just overall i just feel like i should have played with this collection more so again she has six months to prove herself and if not she's getting the heave ho and last from this vault is the dark magic palette this is what the inside looks like. Really, really dark and deep color story. Really grungy. Love this one. I think I love this one more than the other ones out of this whole vault. Um, I think... Do I need six months for this or am I just going to keep her all together? Because even Power Cut, let me swatch this. Power Cut is a really, really pretty shade. See, it's like a champagne pewter color. Very, very pretty. Um, so am I gonna give you six months or am I just gonna keep you? Hmm. All right, so she has been saved. I'm gonna keep her. The other ones have six months to make it on my eyes. If not, I'm getting rid of them, but I'm definitely keeping this one. Next, we have the Kat Von D Mi Vida Loca Remix Eyeshadow Palette. And if you recall me saying from the other videos, this one is a palette I've wanted for so long, never got around to getting it, and then people bought it and were reselling it for hundreds of dollars, and I just couldn't justify it. The Makeup Gods must have heard my pleas from my previous video talking about this palette because lo and behold, I got this for a really, really good price. Virtually um, unused. A few shades were swatched. Let me show you the inside, just in case you've never seen this palette. This is what she looks like. A few of the shades were swatched. Really, really pretty color story. I, I've wanted this for so long, so I can't even believe that I'm actually holding her. This is just insane to me. Now, what I will admit though, is I didn't realize that there were as many satins in this palette as there are. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven satins. Yeah, um, even if they're not necessarily satin based, they do have a slight sheen to them. So that did kind of throw me off because I was expecting there to be a dominance of mattes. Either way, I'm really happy that I have her in my collection. Obviously, I've waited this long. I'm going to keep her. Not only am I going to keep her, I'm going to do some looks with her. Even though people probably don't talk about this palette anymore, 
I personally don't care. I'm late to the game. I don't care. I love her. I'm keeping her. She's beautiful. Next, I'm going to show you all a bunch of gimmicky eyeshadow palettes. So this is the Bombshell Cosmetica Strawberry Milkshake Eyeshadow Palette. This is what the inside of her looks like. All shimmers, obviously. And I absolutely love the quality of this one. Along with my BH Cosmetics Club Tropicana Palette. Yes, I'm talking about that palette again. Absolutely love the formulas. I love the shimmers and everything like that. I love the color story. This one is like one of my favorites along with this one and this one. Like I just love how they perform. Beautiful. Love how they perform. Um, this palette actually does smell like a strawberry milkshake. I unfortunately, you know, the company is no longer around, which sucks because they had really, really great quality stuff and great ideas. It's just management and everything going along with it. They just ultimately ran themselves into the ground. But I will definitely be keeping this palette because like I said, I love the way it performs. The packaging, I hate the, the waste of packaging. They could have added one shade here. They, they could have just added more so that there wasn't so much blank space, but I understand the overall aesthetic and I do appreciate that. So with that being said, I'm going to hold on to this palette. Next, we have the Moschino and Sephora Teddy Bear eyeshadow palette. This is what the inside of her looks like. Very pretty color story. I love your neutrals with your pops of blues and purples. Um, I don't even think this is still available anymore, which is sad because I thought the overall design was really, really cute. I love the quality of this palette. I enjoy playing with it. And this is just aesthetically such an adorable palette. I love the fact, trying not to slam it down, that it even sits down on your vanity like an actual teddy bear. So I'm going to keep her. This is the Moschino and Sephora shopping bag eyeshadow palette. This is what she looks like. I love this one as well. Aesthetically, she's adorable. The shadows themselves weren't bad quality. They performed really well. I just haven't played with this palette as much as I should. Um, of course, I'm going to give her a go, but most of all, this is just pretty much for aesthetics. This is just a collector's item. I will use it here and there, but even if I didn't plan on using it, I'm still going to keep her because this is an adorable palette. Next is my Moschino and Sephora laptop eyeshadow palette. Ooh, almost dropped her. She's so heavy. I forgot how heavy she was. <laughs> this is what the inside looks like. Massive, massive mirror. The mirror is the size of this whole thing right here. So I'm holding it up like that because I'm not trying to blind you. The shades are adorable. I love your pinks. I love the shimmers. I love the quality of this palette. The touch pad, quote, quote, the touch pad is actually a... um dry brush so that you can it's a color switch brush i'm sorry um this is so that you can use your brush and swipe it and change colors and use the same brush i really love how innovative this was and that this wasn't blank space compared to another palette of theirs i'll get into that in a moment but i love how they're shaped like different keys on a laptop this is so cute this was so innovative absolutely love this i'm not getting rid of her this is the MAC and Jeremy Scott Boombox Eyeshadow Palette. Look at this. Like, overall, the design of this palette is stunning. I love the attention to details, the little knobs, the tuner, the everything. This palette is just so freaking beautiful. Now, you're going to hear me complain now. Let me get her open because she always has been difficult to kind of open. Okay. So, this is what the inside of her looks like. Now, you already know what I'm going to complain about. Not necessarily the pan sizes, although they could have been bigger, but all this blank space. Why? Come on. Our environment is in shambles, and you would do something like this? This, that honestly is the only thing about this palette that thoroughly pisses me off. I love how the, the shadows were made to look like um, the sound waves. But come on, like you did not need to waste all this packaging. If you called yourself trying to make it look like the sound waves, you could have at least made these shades on the side 
the um, the pans a little bit bigger. And since these are your neutral base, you should have made those or kept them the same size. I just hate the fact that there was so much wasted packaging and it pains me. It really does, it pains me because I don't know why would they do that. Overall, I, I do still love this palette. I love the quality of it. I love how it performs. Um, not your most intense in your face shades, but I do like to use this palette along with others. I'm gonna keep it just for aesthetic reasons and because I do, do love the quality, but I do not agree with wasted packaging like this. Next is my Sleek Makeup Color Carnage eyeshadow palette. This is what the inside looks like. Very pretty color story. I thought it was going to be something totally different once, just based on the pictures. I got it in front of me and I'm just kind of like, she's cute, but I, I really don't even need her. I haven't touched her. Uh, unfortunately, I am going to get rid of her. I don't know what it is. Sleek eyeshadow palettes. I get so hyped seeing them in pictures and then it's like they get in front of me and it's like, yeah, no. So she is pretty. I <laughs> This green shade and this terracotta and this blue and this green shimmer are like calling my name. But unfortunately, I know I'm not going to reach for this palette. So it makes no sense to either stick my fingers and play and swatch it or even try to justify holding on to it. So I'm just going to get rid of her. Next is the Domini Cosmetics Celestial Thunder Eyeshadow Palette. This is what the inside looks like. Color Story is all over the place. Um, main reason that I even got this palette is because this is such a weird gray toned mauve it's it's pretty don't get me wrong but it's just so odd i've never seen a gray tone like this before this turquoise this teal this teal shade this burnt orange this warm tone brown the palette i don't mm, could i do a cohesive look i don't know uh yeah yeah i could like if i just use this in the crease and use this as a transition shade and then pop this on the lid that's one cohesive look but I don't know I just feel like it is all over the place which is fine by me because I I'm a Gemini you know we're all over the place too but I don't have a Domini Cosmetics palette this is the first one that I picked up that actually looked interesting so I am gonna hold on to her um I'm gonna give her yeah, I'm going to hold on to her. I'm going to give it about six months to play with this. If I don't, she's going to go. But interesting color story. So I'm going to hold on to it just for that. Next is my Colored Rain Pressed Pigment Eyeshadow Palette. This is what the inside looks like. I love these colors so much. I love the quality, the pigmentation, the way they build up, the way they blend out. This blue and this green, hands down, one of the best blues and greens I have in my whole collection. I'll swatch it for you. That's the blue. Look at that. And then this is the green. Yeah, two, like one of the best blues and greens I have in my whole eyeshadow collection. That alone is why I'm keeping this palette. But just in general, I love that Color Rain came out with these pressed pigments because the quality is really good. I just don't really hear people talk about them much, which is unfortunate. I've used this palette a lot, mainly this shade right here. It's a very, very pretty, like, peachy salmon shade. But, yeah, I'm going to hold on to this beauty. Next is my BH Trendy in Tokyo eyeshadow palette. This is what the inside of her looks like. Obviously, it's a color palette. So, you already know I'm going to keep her. Um, I did not expect there to be as many satin shades in there as there is. I thought it was just a full matte palette, which is fine by me. It's just I wasn't expecting it unless... Yeah, these look satin. These don't even look like true shimmer shades. I'm talking about Anime Lively Electric, Wasabi Saki, and Mr. Fuji. I'm sorry, Mount Fuji. I don't know why I was about to say Mr. Fuji, but Mount Fuji. Um, The shades look really pretty. I'm very excited to tap into it. So with that being said, I'm going to hold on to her. Next is my Bibella Cosmetics Life in Pastel eyeshadow palette. This is what the inside looks like. Very pretty color story. Um... I wouldn't necessarily consider this a pastel palette except for one, two, three, four, five, six shades. And then there's a pressed glitter, then there's two shimmers, and then it looks like four satins. The color story is really pretty. It's light. 
It's very springtime. I just got this, so I'm very excited to play around in her. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna hold on to her. I, I just got her probably like two weeks ago, but this is what she looks like. Next is the Bibella Cosmetics Sweetest Valentine eyeshadow palette. This is what the inside of her looks like. Very cute color story. I'm not gonna lie, I expected this palette to be a lot deeper than what it is. Um, mm, I don't think I'm gonna play with her. These shades, these three right here, really, really pretty, almost blinding. They're calling my name. This shade is called Call Me, and it's um, it's a white base with a pink duo reflect. I can see it in the pan. I don't know if my camera's picking it up. But now looking at it in front of me, I don't think I'm gonna reach for her. Reason being is, aside from this, there really isn't any dark shades to create depth. Yeah, you can use these two, but it still wouldn't be dark enough. I would have to tap into a little bit of this to mix these two together to get a deeper shade. Um, I have these shades in my collection. That being said, I think I should just let her go, which is really disappointing because Taken, TBH, and Lost in Love are really, really pretty shimmer shades. And you can see how reflective they are on my camera. So just imagine how they are in person. But yeah, I'm just, I'm not going to keep her. I'm going to get rid of her. Next is my Bibella Shades of Roses eyeshadow palette. This is what the inside of her looks like. Very pretty color story. It has, you see what I mean about how it has those deeper shades that I need. Um, luckily, I didn't have to lose that pretty lilac purple shade that was in the previous palette because I got it right there. Unfortunately, this one is a press glitter, but whatever. Um, these shades are really, really pretty. Lust looks gorgeous. So does Pleasure. Let me do swatch of this this one oh this one feels buttery oh she's pretty okay so she's like a plummy bordeaux color okay she's pretty and then pleasure this one is buttery but then it's kind of hard to tell because it has that um rose imprint oh she's pretty too yeah i'm holding on to this one she's she's very very pretty and I'm more inspired and more interested in picking this palette up than the previous one. So I think I made the right decision which with which one I'm going to keep. This one would be better for me as opposed to the other one. If you're looking for something to create like a light springtime look, that would be perfect. But yeah, I, I'm wearing bold colors no matter what time of year it is. I'm wearing it in winter. I don't care. So yeah, I made the right choice. I'm going to keep this one. Next is the Makeup Obsession All We Have Is Now eyeshadow palette. This is what the inside looks like. Yeah, uh, we already know. I am a brown girl. Where is this going? I have no idea, but it damn sure ain't gonna go on me. Cause fact, aside from this one, this one, and this one, I maybe even these two, cause it's picking up deeper on camera than it is in person. Cause it ain't gonna go for me. Uh, clearly, I'm I'm gonna get rid of her because I can't do anything with this palette. Yeah, I can't. It's like Fifty Shades of Almond Milk right here. Like, what the hell? Yeah, no, no. Maybe if that's what you're into, that's for you. I'm not trying to come at you, but personally, this isn't gonna work for me, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Next is the Makeup Obsession Life Is a Party eyeshadow palette. This is what the inside looks like. Okay, the color story is a little bit better compared to the other one. Um, clearly, I just recently got these. I haven't had a chance to use them. Looking at them, I'm not going to pick up this palette. Uh, aside from Party, Road Trick, Swing, and Countdown, I'm not going to pick up this palette. And then even then, if I'm thinking of those colors, I'm not going to think, let me go into my Life is a Party palette. Especially since the shade Party looks very similar to the shade I just swatched from the Be Bella Shade of Roses palette. No, there's there's really no point in me keeping this, so I'm going to get rid of her. Next is my Profusion eyeshadow palette. This is the, let us see, what name? Okay, doesn't have a name. It just said Profusion Cosmetics 7 Shade Multi-Finish Eyeshadow Palette. This is what the inside looks like without me blinding you. 
Now, this is a very basic color story, very basic palette, I understand. But for some reason, I keep gravitating towards this palette. And every time I say I'm going to get rid of it, I wind up swatching this shade right here. <laughs> I'll show you. I swatch it. And I'm like, nope, mm -mm, can't get rid of her. She's so pretty. It's like a flaky consistency, like loose but pressed flakes, if that makes any sense. And she's like a beautiful rosy gold color. Like, can you see? Yeah, okay, my camera's picking it up. For some reason, I just keep gravitating towards this palette. I have not gotten a chance to use it, but um, I'm gonna give myself six months to use it. If not, she has to go because I can't keep justifying just keeping it for that one shade as much as I want to. But yeah, I'm gonna hold on to her, give her six months. Next is the I Heart Revolution Cranberries and Chocolate Eyeshadow Palette. This is what the inside looks like. Very pretty color story, very basic, very neutral. Um, I don't know why I picked her up, if I'm being completely honest with you, but I just expected her to be something different once it got here. Um, very pretty color story. Too many similar shades for my liking. I feel like I could only use half the shades in this palette as opposed to using the whole palette. So with that being said, I'm going to get rid of her just for the fact that I don't want to be able to use just half the shades in the palette. I want to be able to use majority of it. So yeah, I'm going to let her go, unfortunately. Oh yeah, and she does smell like cranberries. This is the iHeart Revelation Sweet and Tasty Eyeshadow Palette. Love the packaging. This is what the inside looks like. Very interesting color story. It is all over the place. And y'all already know I have no problem with that. Um, these colors... I could see me using to create a look, believe it or not. I don't necessarily know how cohesive it'll be and whether or not I'd have to dip into another palette, but I could definitely see me using this. Um, very pretty. Thank God it doesn't smell like popcorn because I thought I think if it smelled like popcorn, it would piss me off. But uh, yeah, very pretty color story. I'm going to hold on to her. This is the I Heart Revolution Black Cherry Eyeshadow Palette. This is what the inside looks like pretty color story um hmm aside from the shades liquor compote none of these shades really do anything for me they don't call out to me i don't really feel inspired looking at this palette like i said uh, aside from those two shades which i think are really really pretty that compote is like a nice almost neon orange but yeah i just i'm not gonna keep the palette yeah, there, there's no need because the rest of it, it does, it does nothing for me. I don't feel inspired. I don't feel like, ooh, I need to play with the Black Cherry palette. So with that being said, I'm going to get rid of this one. Next is the I Heart Revolution Cinnamon palette. This is what the inside of it looks like. All matte palette, which I am not upset about at all. I just wasn't expecting that. Um, mm, She smells like cinnamon. I smell it from behind my camera. Um, the shades are very pretty, but I do have these shades in my collection. Oh, and that sucks because it is very pretty color story. The fact that it's all mattes is just amazing. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I'm going to have to get rid of her because I have these shades in other palettes just from what I've shown you today. So yeah, I'm going to get rid of her as well. And that kind of breaks my heart because she is very pretty and she smells good too. Next is the I Heart Revolution Galactic Palette. And sorry for blinding you. This is what the inside looks like. She is very pretty. I don't know, something about those marbled base shadows. I think they're really, really pretty. And she smells like chocolate. Um, I smell that behind my camera. She, she is really pretty. I don't know, I'm thinking that I should keep her just to give it a go because I'm I'm wondering what those shades would look like. Hmm. Let's see. Ooh, and then Constellation right here is like um, a brown green burgundy shade. I don't know if my camera's picking it up, but I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to this. I'm gonna give this six months as well. If I don't do anything with it, I'm going to give it away but very pretty color story, very pretty palette. 
Next is the I Heart Revolution Ginger and Orange eyeshadow palette. This is what the inside of her looks like. Very pretty color story. I have these shades in other palettes. I, yeah, Orange Delight is pretty, Snaps is pretty, Squash is pretty, Splendor is pretty, but I don't see me reaching for this palette, so I'm just gonna give her up. Next is the I Heart Revolution Berry Meringue eyeshadow palette. This is what the inside looks like very pretty color story very pinky base which isn't a problem with me I just yeah this is another one that there are pretty shades in here I just don't see me reaching for it necessarily so I'm just gonna pass this yeah I'm just gonna pass on her meringuing is a very very pretty color by the way just in case my camera isn't picking up very pretty color but I'm not gonna reach for this so I'm gonna let it go Next is the Revolution Forever Dynamic Mesmerize eyeshadow palette. This is what the inside looks like. Very pretty color story. Unfortunately, I think that's a press glitter. And then this one, that one, and that one, they're satins or very light shimmers. I haven't touched this. The only thing that's making me gravitate towards this palette is this deep purple, but I'm not gonna keep it for that because I have other purples in my collection that I'm in love with, that I use and that I know I would reach for more or instantly think about when thinking of a purple that I need for a look. So with that being said, I'm gonna get rid of this one as well. Next is the I Heart Revolution Watermelon Eyeshadow Palette. Cute packaging, fun fact, I absolutely hate watermelon. I don't like the fruit. I don't like anything watermelon tasting or anything like that. It absolutely, it's just gross to me and I love all fruits, but watermelon is just, ugh. I, I don't do watermelon at all. But this is what the inside looks like. Very colorful, very pretty, very spring. I think this palette is so cute. I would actually pick this up. I see myself using this and picking it up. But then again, I do have similar shades in my collection. Hmm. The thing that's calling my name the most are these shimmers. They're very, very pretty. So this is going to be another palette that I'm going to give myself six months to use. If I do not reach for her, she's going to get the heave ho. But very, very cute palette. <laughs> yeah, no, it doesn't smell like watermelon, thank God. So <laughs> yeah, I'm going to keep her for a bit. Next is the Revolution Foil Frenzy Fusion Eyeshadow Palette. This is what the inside, well, no, I will not be showing you the inside because I haven't even opened it. Okay, so funny enough about this palette, I keep going back and forth on myself whether or not I should hold on to it or keep it because I think it is very, very pretty, but I know that I have these shades. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to pass her along because I know I have these shades. Yeah, I'm going to pass her along. This is a very pretty palette. And it's funny, I either like all matte palettes or all shimmer palettes or matte dominant palettes. I don't like shimmer dominant palettes unless it was the, um, the only shimmer dominant palette that I do have is the cat, um, I'm sorry, you hear me, the cat, huh? The Pat McGrath Celestial Divinity eyeshadow palette. That one is very shimmer based. And that's because everybody tells me Pat is known for her shimmers and stuff like that. So that's the only reason why I would justify a shimmer heavy palette but unfortunately i'm gonna let this go because i know i have these shades in my collection next is the i heart revolution violet crush eyeshadow palette this is what she looks like very very cute color story i want to keep this i don't know why but i want to uh yeah i'm gonna hold on to her And I don't know why, but I do. She's just really, really pretty. Okay, another palette that I'm gonna give six months to use. If I don't use it, she's out the door. But yeah, something about this palette makes me wanna keep it and dip into it. Even though I know the, I know that I have these shades. It's just for some reason, this shade is really, really pretty. Alicia, come on, be practical, be practical. Ugh. Are you going to use this palette, Alicia? Like, are you really, really gonna use this palette? All right, yeah, 
I'm gonna hold on to it for six months. Don't use it in six months, I'm gonna get rid of her. Next is the iHeart Revolution Sour Cherry Eyeshadow Palette. This is what the inside looks like. Another cute palette. A part of me wants to keep it. Uh, whether or not that's practical, I'm not sure. But, okay, I'm gonna give this one six months as well. I don't know, it's something about this palette that's making me wanna keep it and try it. I don't know if my camera's picking up, but this isn't a, a gold matte. This is a gold shimmer, and this one is really, really shimmery. This one is a brown shimmer or satin. Can't really tell, I haven't stuck my fingers in it. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna give this one six months as well to play with and yeah, we'll go from there. So I'm gonna give myself six months to play with this palette before I decide it needs to go. Next is my Magic by Juvia's Place eyeshadow palette. This is what the inside looks like. This is actually my favorite Juvia's Place eyeshadow palette, hands down. I love this purple, this called Ife. One of my favorite purples that I have in my whole eyeshadow collection. Gijede is a um, navy blue matte. I love the shade as well. Um, Faso, really pretty shade. Let me just um, swatch these for you instead of telling you about them. You see that nice blue lavender shift that that has? And then Ife. Uh, I kind of swatched it in that shimmer, sorry. <laughs> but that is my favorite purple in my whole collection. And then Yejede. Um, the mattes, mainly the purple and blue one, they feel really, really dry. And I love how they build up. I love how they apply. I, I just really love those shades. This is actually, like I said, my favorite Juvia's Place eyeshadow palette. Um, I don't think I would ever get rid of this palette just based off Ife, Gijede, and Faso alone. Um, if they ever came out with single shades, then I could see me possibly giving it away. But then even still, there are other shades in this palette that are pretty as well. So with that being said, I'm going to hold on to it. Next is the ColourPop on Cloud Blue Eyeshadow Palette. Disclaimer, just got it, not getting rid of it. <laughs> just wanted to hurry up and put that out there. Really cute color story. I love blue eyeshadows, so I really cannot wait to use this. I really hope I like this palette. From the swatches and every review that I've seen on this palette, everybody says it's a great palette. But ColourPop, you already know it's hit and miss. So with that being said, I'm going to hold on to it because I just got it. Next is the ColourPop Blue Moon eyeshadow palette. Another disclaimer, just got this, not getting rid of this. Very, very pretty color story. Reminds me of a little, just looking at it, of, excuse me, the BH Cosmetics Bubblegum palette mixed with the Crayon Case Blue Notepad Mini eyeshadow palette. So yeah, I can't wait to use these palettes that I just bought this one along with the on cloud blue so yeah this is what she looks like I'm keeping her next is the beauty treats daylight bright eyeshadow palette this is what the inside looks like mm. okay I want to keep her but I'm not going to reason being is because this looks almost too similar to the monster matte reloaded palette by makeup revolution i do want to try uh i feel like i'm about to be a whole hypocrite and just still keep this palette anyway i okay yeah i'm, I'm gonna hold on to her for a bit give her six months <laughs> then i'm gonna get rid of her i don't know man it's just something about colorful palettes they just do something to me like i feel like i'm almost i'm almost a prisoner to them but i just i can't help myself i'm gonna i'm gonna give her six months the same as the neon brights by beauty treats this one i'm also gonna give six months but I feel like I'm gonna reach for this one quicker than the other one. So, you know what, Felicia, we're gonna be practical. We're gonna be, we're gonna be mature and we're gonna be an adult today. I, just looking at these two, my eyes automatically go for the neon 
yeah it goes for the neon palette quicker than the brights palette so I'm gonna keep the neon and I'm gonna get rid of the daylight see look at that I I'm capable of being an adult and making practical decisions so I'm gonna get rid of this one next is my color rain juicy boost eyeshadow palette and this is what the inside of her looks like very pretty color story I really like colored rains eyeshadow formulas this palette I don't think got talked about as much oh I'm sorry this palette didn't get talked about much which is sad because I thought it was a really really good palette the shade kale yeah energy boost apple strawberry watermelon detox orange carrot really really pretty shades and then you can't forget for these three shimmers right here which I like the fact that they're kind of like monochromatic rose I don't know if anybody noticed that but they're haha -ha, they're they're monochromatic in a way but yeah I really love this palette I am definitely going to hold on to her because this was my most recent color rain purchase from last year and yeah it's very color rain does have great quality it's just not a lot of their color stories interest me so when I see one that I really like I try to hold on to it as long as possible so yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this palette next is the be perfect and Stacy Marie carnival 3 love Tahiti eyeshadow palette love the packaging I think it's very very pretty this is what the inside looks like. I don't know if you haven't seen it, but by now everyone's seen this palette. Really very, very pretty. The shade Coral, Mango, Sundown, Hibiscus, Blue Moon, Lagoon, The Deep, Tropics, Key Lime, Grape. Those are just shades that my eyes gravitate towards. Clay, Forest. Yeah, I'm keeping this palette. Um, one of my favorite YouTubers she lives by this palette so a lot of the tutorials she does she uses this palette it actually hit quite a pan on quite a few of them i'm talking about um make me up missa by the way really really great youtuber love her content i love her eyeshadow look she's another one that loves color so yeah with that being said i'm gonna hold on to this palette and as you can see she is she is well loved um not hit and pan not hit pan yet on any of the shades but she is she is quite loved so I'm gonna hold on to her next is my elf and Jay kiss it to the rescue eyeshadow palette um the palette actually comes all white but then it comes with a sticker sheet so that you can design it the way you want so of course I put Emery loves Emery and Daniel um you you're you've been living under a rock if you don't know that Emery is my son and Daniel is my beautiful boyfriend um Emery is oh, he's such a funny smart ass kid He's affectionate he's super sweet he has my slick mouth and yeah that's that's totally my baby right there my my two beautiful men in my life but um yeah this is how I designed the palette with the palm tree the moon the alien and stuff but this is what the inside looks like ah that was the rest of the sticker sheet just in case you all haven't seen the sticker sheet this is what it looks like so you can customize it and do your own thing and stuff like that but anywho, this is what the inside of the palette looks like. Love this palette. Love the color story. Love rainbows. I love that you could create monochromatic looks because you have your lighter shades, your deeper shades, and then your shimmer shades. Really great palette. Love the color story. The fact that it was very, that it was um, vegan and cruelty free and they were able to get this amount of pigmentation was just insane to me. And Jay Kista is actually one of the first YouTubers I started to watch when watching YouTube. And that's because she's another one that's a lover of colorful looks. So I'm going to keep this palette. I love how it performs. And I just love Jay Kista, So Next is my I Heart Revolution Cinderella Eyeshadow Face Palette. This is what it looks like. On this side, you have three br blushes. Excuse me. Hold on, let me adjust my camera so you can see. On this side, you have three blushes, then you have three highlighters, and then this, of course, is the eyeshadows. I like the fact that the colors in the palette pretty much go with the whole Cinderella theme. I have not played with this yet. Um, off the bat, Midnight Royal, Gisela, those shades call to me. Um, it's a very pretty palette. And unfortunately, I don't think I could use these highlighter shades. Um, the blushes, if I want like a light wash of color, I could probably get away with using them depending on how pigmented they are. And then the shadows, 
I think the shadows are pretty, but not necessarily something I have to reach for. Um, this is going to be another palette that I know I want to do a look with. I want to do like two or three looks with this palette. Um, I know I have these shades in my collection, but just to go give this a go, I am going to play around with this palette, but I feel like ultimately I'm going to wind up getting rid of it eventually anyway. So with that being said, I'm just going to hold on to it for now. Next is the I Heart Revolution Princess and the Frog eyeshadow palette. This one was the one I was most excited for. The blushes are absolutely gorgeous. The highlighters are absolutely gorgeous. These will work on my skin tone, medium. These will work on medium, deep, deep, dark skin tones. I just love that. And then these colors are really pretty. They're right up my alley. And yeah, I was most excited for this palette because of how colorful it is. This is another palette that I'm going to keep and make a video with, do some looks with. Um, I do feel like out of all of the ones they release, this would be the only one that I would keep. But yeah, I'm just going to hold on to her for now. Next is the I Heart Revolution Beauty, Beauty and the Beast eyeshadow and face palette. This is what the inside looks like. Very pretty color story as far as the eyeshadows go, but I know I have these shades in my collection. The blushes, I feel like I could probably use. The highlighters, maybe. But this is another one that I just really want to play around with it, give it a go. I feel like ultimately I would wind up getting rid of this one as well, but I do still want to try it out, so I'm going to hold on to it for now. Next is my Beauty Bay Book of Magic eyeshadow palette. This is what the inside looks like. You already know if you've seen the swatch video, if you've seen the look that I previously did with this. I absolutely love this palette. The quality is amazing. Unfortunately, I found out that this is discontinued and that really sucks. But I am happy that I gave in and decided to get it because at first I was like, I don't need this. And then I got it and I'm like, oh, I, I did totally need this. So I'm going to keep this palette. I'm going to do more looks. Voodoo is one of my favorite shades in the palette. That's how she looks and cursed and they all feel buttery by the way look at that and then of course bewitched very pretty palette even my boyfriend he loves this palette whenever he sees me use it he's like yo this palette this palette is the bomb um i hope that a lot of you were able to get your hands on this if you weren't able to go online there's a bunch of people selling theirs get it because I feel like the palette was well worth the money and the quality and the pan sizes were great. Just everything about this palette is great so I'm definitely keeping her. Next is my Bella Pro Mayhem, Maroon Mayhem eyeshadow palette. Excuse me. This is what the inside looks like. Very pretty color story. I love that it's very maroon based. It has your deepening shades. It has your light shimmer shades. Love this palette. This is one of those palettes that it is very neutral based and you can create um, very subtle looks and then you could create very vampy looks this what I consider is a date night palette because I feel like you could create the perfect date night looks using this palette alone um, obviously we're not going anywhere because quarantine and just COVID and anything like that but I feel like this palette is such a beautiful one to have in your collection for date night so with that being said along with the quality and the price and everything I totally am going to keep this palette Next is my Be Bella Pro Basic Bows eyeshadow palette. This is what the inside looks like. A very pretty color story. I love these shades right here, these oranges. I even love these shades on the side. Very pretty color story. I love Be Bella the Pro palettes. Um, I don't use this one as much as I want to, so I definitely need to put this one in rotation so that I can use more. But yeah, as of right now, I'm going to hold on to her. Next is the Be Bella Pro Slay It eyeshadow palette. This is what the inside looks like. This one is obviously my favorite because it has the blues and the greens and then the yellows and stuff like that. Very pretty color story. Love these oranges right here. Although they are somewhat very similar. Still love those shades. This one needs more love. So I'm going to keep her around just so I can give her more love. The qualities are great. I'm sorry, the quality of these are great. Let me do some quick swatches for you real quick. So do that, 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 and that. Just so you can see, and then I'll adjust my camera. 
but yeah the quality is really really good some of the shades are drier than others but overall i love the quality of these palettes so with that being said i'm going to hold on to this one as well next is my be bella pro basic browns eyeshadow palette this is what the inside looks like funny enough i am absolutely keeping this palette reason being is because it has every transition shade you can absolutely think of to create any type of look um obviously neutral base but then even some colorful base colors like um colorful base looks you have your deepening shades like um if you need a deeper red you have this brown or you have this maroon you have this black if you're doing a smoky eye you have these browns and these oranges and these like camel nudes and stuff like that and then of course you have your basic shimmers i just really really love this palette um obviously i'm gonna keep her because she is really great quality so yeah next is the jawbreaker eyeshadow palette by jeffree star this is the outside this is what the inside looks like absolutely love the color story now disclaimer i bought this palette for two reasons the main one is the color story i love jawbreakers as a kid it just reminded me of my childhood and trying to buy the biggest one and blah 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 pretty much the same reason why he created this palette is why I wanted it. Second, at the time when he released this palette, he seemed like he was headed in the right direction as far as the type of person he was and the type of person he wanted to be. And there is nobody that is perfect in this world. I just wanna put this out there right now. Nobody in this world is perfect. I have done shitty things. Family members have done shitty things. People that I considered friends have done shitty things. Nobody is perfect. It's whether you want to decide to wake up and evolve and be a better version of yourself is what I care about. At the time when he came out with this palette, he seemed like he was headed in the right direction and that he just really wanted to be a better person overall. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case because just controversy amongst his peers, just the way he was treating customers, the way he was treating fans, I just can't support a person like that. And it's sad because this was the very first product of his that I ever bought. And unfortunately, it'll be the last product of his that I will buy. And that's because I, I go by actions. I don't go by words. You can tell me all day that you care about me. You can tell me all day that you're going to change. If your actions are showing the complete opposite, I cannot support you. I have to distance myself from you. And it's sad because this is a really great palette. I love the quality. I love everything about this palette, but I just can't see me giving him any more money. I'm not one of those people that believes in cancel culture. I believe you cancel a person that's toxic. And unfortunately, he's shown time and time again that he really is a toxic person. And I don't want to drag this on and I don't want to come off preachy because like I said, I am not a perfect person. But every day I do wake up and try to be the best version of myself. And I I think of how my actions will directly affect the people that I love and care about. With that being said, this will be the first and only palette of his that I will spend my money on. I do love the quality. I am going to play with it more. Um, I'm not just going to get rid of it or throw it in the garbage because that is a waste of money. And that's the whole reason I'm decluttering and selling the stuff that I'm getting rid of. Because why waste the money, you know? I am still going to use this. If I do decide to use looks, oh, I'm sorry, if I do decide to do looks with this palette, I'll just show the palette and not necessarily tag him or his company and stuff like that. But yeah, I just wanted to let you know that people have the ability to change only if... You should only continue to give them a chance if they really are changing. You can't go by words, you have to go by actions. So yeah, with that being said, I'm gonna keep this palette. Next is the Jeffree Star Mini Breaker Palette. And I did not buy this palette. Like I said, the Jawbreaker is the first and last palette of his that I purchased. This one was actually given to me. Um, that's why I'm keeping it. Um, I, I would have never spent money on this. It's just I'm appreciative of when people buy me gifts and stuff or when they give me things. So that's why I'm keeping this palette. And if I do decide to use this in a look, like I said, I won't be tagging him or his company. It'll just be me showing the palette. And if you know, you know. But I'm going to hold on to this. 
And last but not least, we have the ColourPop Fade Into Hue Eyeshadow Palette. This is what the inside looks like. Very, very beautiful color story. I am upset that there are pressed glitters in here, but I'm just going to have to get over it because I do really love the, the color story of it. I haven't had a chance to create any looks with it yet, um, but I do like these little pastel shades like Lovecraft, Treasure, Take It Easel, and Selfie. Really pretty. Hot Copic is like a really light icy blue shimmer with like a burgundy undertone that it's showing like it's showing a shift but yeah I can't wait to play around with this palette so I'm going to hold on to it so that concludes part five of my eyeshadow palette collection and declutter series in this video we talked about 58 different eyeshadow palettes I decided to keep the 43 that's on this side and I decided to declutter the 16 on this side I didn't declutter as much as I wanted in this video, but I'm still really proud that I'm still finding things to declutter, so I'm not going to be too hard on myself. Um, my overall goal when I first started this series was to declutter anywhere from 75 to 100. I reached my first goal of 75 in my third video in this series. I reached my second goal of 100 in my fourth video of this series. I decided to add a third and a fourth goal of 125 and 150. I actually reached my third goal of 125 in this video, so I'm proud of myself. And I'm only 13 away from my final goal of decluttering 150 eyeshadow palettes. So I'm proud of myself, even though I didn't do as good as I wanted to. But hey, I'm still making progress, so that's all I can hope for. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Tell me what palette you were most surprised that I kept, which one you would have gotten rid of, and vice versa. And I hope to see you all soon. Bye.